welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to get that full bodied hair you see on commercials but is impossible to get in reality. So we're going to be taking this photo from this to here uh, with just a few steps. So starting with the original image, to get more hair the only place we can really get the hair is from this same image or unless you have a similar image which would even be better, but I'll take all the hair from this image for this example. So first thing to try to get the hair on this other side, on the left side, I'll take it from the right side. So using the lasso tool over here, just roughly select uh, the area of the hair that you want to take, and then the background is selected, and then press Control C, go up to Edit, Copy, and then edit paste. Now you can see we have layer one here with our hair. We can move that around. Now we want to put it on the other side so we have to flip it and for that I'm just gonna transform it. Press Control T and then drag the right side over to the left. Now we have an opposite. And because this is going to be on the other side of the head and we want to change it a little bit anyway so it's harder to tell that it was taken from the right side I don't really care if the proportions are kept the same as long as it's somewhat correct so I'll just sort of bend this into about the right spot and try line it up a little bit that looks about right now we have to create a layer mask press down here and now we're gonna mask out all the area we don't want Now if you have a similar background on both sides, it makes it easy merging the two layers. And make sure you do the inside. And an important part is to get the ears accurate. So we'll spend a little bit of time working on them. And then also put it behind the neck. And if you think the color should be changed a little bit, you can create a adjustment layer. And then, so that it only affects the layer below, you can press this button here. And then you'll get a down arrow like this, meaning that it's only going to affect the hair layer. So if I adjust this now and pull it way up, you can see that it's just affecting that one layer. So I'm going to create a little more contrast in the hair. And then also I'm going to mask out part of this adjustment layer so it doesn't affect the background right here. So it's looking not too bad if we look at the start and where we are now it's coming along and then if you want to fill out a certain area or create a little more body you can do that again. Make sure you're on the background when you make your selection. So I'm going to make another selection of hair and again copy it, control C and paste and now you can see I have new layer and then I can move it over to the other side and control T for transform and I can put it maybe I'll add just a little bit more over there and I'm going to drag this layer to the top so this hair is on the front add my layer mask and then hide quite a bit of this layer mask I'm just going to have it showing in the a little bit in the back. And then lastly for the right side I can create another selection and then copy paste and for this one I'm not going to move it out very much just a little bit maybe a little bit up and then just blend the layers of this mask if you're able to take the hair from another image, you'll avoid having to get rid of this sort of repetition we see going on. Here we see a repeat of the same hair, so you have to be careful to avoid that when you're duplicating the layer. But if you change the size and hide and show enough of the various layers, then you can make it fairly invisible. So I'm going to keep on working on this a little bit, doing using the same technique, and end up with this with a four or five layers. I'll hide them one at a time so you can see what I did.
And that's it. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com. <laughs>